Okay, so we're going on to the next well video. It's part 284C3K31. And it's line 22, F1, FA, 19, C3, K31. Pi back bonding, electron donation, phosphines, well setting. So there's the alien radio signal. And there's the pi back bonding, homo bonding, lumo antibonding, and electron donation bond, electron donation back bonding. Quotes from Wiki, top. The homo and lumo of CO, middle, an example of a sigma bonding orbital in which CO donates electrons to a metal center from its homo. Bottom, an example where the metal center donates electrons to a d orbital to CO's lumo. Note in this depiction, the y-axis has no relation to energy levels. Pi back bonding, also called pi back donation, is a concept from chemistry in which electrons move from an, an atomic orbital on one atom to a pi antibonding orbital on another atom, or ligand. It is especially common in the or organ o metallic chemistry of transition metals with multi-atomic ligands such as carbon monoxide, ethanol, or nitrosonium cation. Electrons from the metal are used to bond to the ligand in the process relieving the metal of excess negative charge. Compounds where pi back bonding occurs include uh, NiCO4 and Z salt. That's interesting because we kept having nickel come up as one of the components that you have to put in the outer shell. Uh, real, uh, pure, purified nickel. Metal phosphine complexes, R3PM, R3PM, oh, oh, bonding, I don't know what that symbol means, you guys do, they look like butterflies to me, <laughs> and flowers, sorry, R3PM, pi back bonding, phosphines accept electron density from metal P or D orbitals into combinations of P, and whatever that means. Antibodying orbitals that have pi symmetry. Oh, there's more pretty butterflies and flowers. <laughs> Look like little bugs. Okay, anyways, you guys know what this stuff means. So thanks for watching. That's the end of that video. We'll go on to our next one.